We are also pleased to have among us Mr. Shukrata Bak, General Manager, Rishra Works, Baja Paints, India Limited. We heartily welcome both of them. According to the customs and traditions of Ramakrishna Math and Mission, we generally begin all our workshops and seminars with the chanting of sacred Vedic hymns. And this time, there won't be any exception. So, without any delay, I would like to call upon the dais, the students of the Sanskrit department of the college, for the chanting of Vedic hymns. We are really very thankful to the students of the Sanskrit department of the college for the Now it's time for felicitation. I'd like to request revered Secretary Maharaj of Ramakrishna Mission Sharada Pitha to kindly felicitate Gautam Chattopadhyay sir. And Gautam Chattavadhyay sir, now I'd like to request revered Secretary Maharaj 
to kindly uh, provide the introductory speech and keynote address. Address of welcome. Bhagavate Ramakrishna. Respected Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay, Senior Scientist associated with NASA, my dear brother Mom, Swami Mahaprajnananda Ji Maharaj, Principal of our Ramakrishna Mission Vidya Mandira College, the coordinator Swami Indreshananda Ji, who is coordinating this entire function, respected heads of the departments, faculty members, both teaching and non-teaching, respected participants, delegates who have come from different colleges and other institutions and above all my dear students. It gives me a great joy to be in your midst, to have a, such a wonderful scientific lecture. Amar khub bhalo lagto, jodi ami tumhade shonge boshe, keno amar khub bhalo lagye, gude shunte. Kintu, amar aajke onik gulo engagement karse bolle, ami hoy to shomoy dite par dona. अभी जस्ट कर्सरी ग्लांस दिए देख चला हूँ जेजे निश्चा जेज तुमरा एस्पेशली छात्रों के रूप देश ही बोल ची तुमरा विश्व ब्रह्मांडे पता का सुनते थे विश्व ब्रह्मांडे की आचे आर अनेक किचु जेज जोखोनी कोनो बड़ो जिनिस नहीं हमरा आलोचना करी हमारे बोने विस्तारों कोटे तो काजुल नहीं हमें जस्ट बोशु जा देख चला हूँ मुझे विश्व ब्रह्मांड बोलते ही चॉकलेटी ऐसा ये था कि क्यूरियोसिटी था कि शामिल विवेकानंद को खूब पसंद करते हैं जे कोनो किचुई प्रीमियम आकार जे दिखी चु आलोचना होए शेरा सब समय ही मने उदारता बढ़ाए, मोनेर विकास को बढ़ाए। अमी देख चलाम कॉस्मिक रेज, बैकग्राउंड रेडिएशन, तार परे टेरा हर्च, अने कुछ शब्दों को लो देख चलाम। ये कारण होते हैं एक टाइ, इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन छड़ा तो आमदर का चार अन्नो कुछ भी नहीं, जाते हमरा अन्नो जगह तक कुछ पावो बोले। and electromagnetic radiation only, there has to be a receiver, there has to be a sender. Receiver, antenna, sender, transmitter. So, in this case, we have to say that 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 शब्द तो गुरु देख चला मामू क्यूब सेट विशेष करे तुम आदर के बोल बो जब कोन एरोप्लेन आश्लो मानुष एक इंटेंसिटी आरोप आ रहा है माने जाना आ रहा है एरोप्लेन इज़ नाउ कंसीडर नॉट वेरी हाईली एनर्जी इनेफिशिएंट मशीन है तार परे शंके शंके ड्रोन गुलु आश्लो ड्रोन गुलु आसार शंके शंके आम्रा � किंतु एक उन्होंने बच्चे वो गुइदिन द स्पेस ओनली 
মানুষ তো এখানে সন্তুষ্ট হয় না আউটার স্পেস ছোট ছোট স্যাট তোমাদেরকে মনে করি যে কিছু বছর আগে একটা স্মলেস্ট স্যাটেলাইট যেখানে গিনিস বুক অফ ওয়ার্ল্ড রেকর্ড এন্টার হয়ে চলে সেটা কালাম স্যাট খুব ছোট আমি তখন আমার সুযোগ হয়েছিল আমি তখন চেন্নাইতে ছিলাম ওখানেও স্বামী বিবেকানন্দের নামে নামাঙ্কিত একটা বড় কলেজ আছে ওই কলেজে একটা ছাত্র কিন্তু ওই টিমে ছিল কালাম স্যাট দি দেন চিফ মিনিস্টার জয়ললিতা দশ লাখ টাকা দিয়েছিলেন ওই টিমকে পুরস্কৃত করেছিলেন তো তার জন্যই বলছি রামকৃষ্ণ মিশনে ছাত্ররা যেখানেই থাকবে ইন্টারাকশন সাইন্টিফিক ডেলিভারেশন যার দ্বারা ইউ উইল অল গেট এনরিচ ইউ আর গোয়িং টু গেট এনরিচ ইন দ্য এন্ড আই ওনলি প্রে to Shri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother Shri Sharada Devi and Swami Vivekananda, may the choicest blessings be on all of us so that we can make our society, our nation, and the world at large a better place for living is my humble prayer thank you very much we are highly grateful to maharaj for the valuable words now i would like to request our principal maharaj to kindly deliver the keynote address
this, this, this type of seminars and workshops on various topics. And mostly these uh, topics we select uh, for uh, making their career better. So today's initiative, the, for our esteemed speaker is with us, Dr. Gordon Tagiti, who is the NASA chair here, is with Caltech USA. Uh, and I hope you all are here, and I pray to for the trial for the uh, it will be the day, uh, but traditionally always we pray as our secretary mother did too for the very successful completion of the session. And as we, as I always mention, that it is there, obviously the provision is there, so our time to spend it is too short. After his speech, there will be a question and cessation, as soon as possible question and answer uh, we will take. Actually, uh, our college uh, take uh, side by side, apart from our regular academic curriculum, we host a number of uh, seminars like that. Just outside also, uh, there is a photo festival that is also going on. So the name of this photo festival is Polyphon. So the students of our photography club and they made a beautiful exhibition. So in this, uh, at this time also, I am very happy and I'd like to mention that after this seminar you can have you can have a look to this photographic uh, presentation also. Once again, thank you all, thank you everybody for coming. We are really very thankful to Maharaj for the valuable words. Now we will move towards the main session of today's seminar. But before that, I would like to give a brief description about today's speaker, that is Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay, sir. Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay is a senior scientist at the NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology, and a visiting professor at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, Pasadena, USA. He has been a very distinguished visiting chair professor at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, India, and an adjunct professor at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, India. He received a PhD degree in electrical engineering from the California Institute of Technology, Pasadena, in 2000. He is a fellow of IEEE USA and IUTE India, track editor of the IEEE Transactions on Antennas and Propagation, and IEEE Distinguished Lecturer and the President-Elect for the IEEE NPTS for 2024. His research interests include microwave, millimeter wave, and terahertz receiver systems and radars, and development of space instruments for the search for light beyond Earth. He has more than 350 publications in international journals and conferences and holds more than 20 patents. He also received more than 35 NASA Technical Achievement and New Technology Invention Awards. He received the NASA JPL People Leadership Award in 2023, IEEE Region 6 Engineer of the Year Award in 2018, Distinguished Alumni Award from the Indian Institute of Engineering, Science and Technology, India in 2017. He was the recipient of the Best Journal Paper Award in 2020 and 2013 by the IEEE Transactions on Terahertz Science and Technology. Best Paper Award for Antenna Design and Applications at the European Antennas and Propagation Conference in 2017 and IEEE Professor S. N. Victor Memorial Award in 2014 and IEEE Vivan Vihari Sen Memorial Award in 2020. So without delay, I would like to request Dr. Gautam Chattopadhyay sir to kindly throw light on NASA technologies to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Sir, over to you.
দূরে নয় অন্য করে জল বাতাস খাওয়াতেই আমার বড় হওয়া আর সেজন্য আমি আপনাদেরই কাছেরই মানুষ এখন থাকি বাইরে কিন্তু বলে না যে আমার পড়াশোনার ব্যাপারে যে ফিস ব্যাপারটা সেটা আমার নবগ্রাম বিদ্যাপীঠ সেখান থেকে করেছি বাইরে যে অন্যগুলো সব আপনারা শুনলেন সেগুলো হচ্ছে বাইরের পদের দেখা তা আমার সাথে আমার যখন মহারাজ জিৎ মহারাজ যখন আমার সাথে যোগাযোগ করলেন তখন আমি ভাবছিলাম কি নিয়ে কথা বলবো হোয়াট শ্যাল আই টক অ্যাবাউট টু ইউ ওয়াচ সো আই ফর ওকে লেটস টক অ্যাবাউট দ্য টেকনোলজি দ্যাট ইউ ডেভেলপ অ্যাট না বাট ওয়াই ইউ ডু ডেভেলপ টেকনোলজি হোয়াট ইজ দ্য আইডিয়া বিহাইন্ড ইউ ওয়ান অফ দ্য থিং ইজ দ্যাট হোয়াট এভার উই ডু ইন না উই ডু ইট ফর সাইন্স উই আর ট্রাইং টু আনসার ঠিক সাইন্স কোয়েশ্চেন and for that sometimes we need to develop new technology so i will mean, first talk a little bit about what are the big science questions we are trying to answer and how do we go about doing it and then we look into what are the technology gaps that we have to address those science questions so also i would like to have a lot of question and answer session because i know that in a this kind of gathering i will be able to talk everything that you want to know so you have a lot of questions not that i have all the answer no one has but with the discussions with you maybe you will be able to you know get somewhere so that is the idea of this so let's get going so before i start i want to talk a little bit about you know nasa jpl so if you see on the screen Uh, I work at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory that is on the west coast of US. NASA has lab all across the United States. Our headquarters is in Washington DC. And many of you know about Houston. Who doesn't know Houston you have a problem? You must have watched the movie, you know, the uh, Apollo 13. So that is in Texas. So each of those labs, NASA lab, has an old, you know, area of expertise. So in Houston, we do manned missions for astronauts, training, everything goes on Houston. But at JPL, Jet Propulsion Lab at NASA, that is the largest NASA laboratory for robotic missions. What you see going to Mars, the rover on Mars, all those stuff we develop at JPL. As a matter of fact, actually NASA started from JPL. anyone say something can you hear me okay all right so nasa started from jpl so what is to have a jpl is very close to caltech california institute of technology before i start about nasa let's talk with the our caltech caltech is a very small university only 2000 students i did my phd from there but this is an amazing place only 2000 students but 45 nobel laureate came from caltech 45 so when i was doing a phd so i was a student in the electrical engineering department my physics advisor was in the physics department so i used to sit in the physics lab physics building and every winter Sheet Two doors from my office, the person who used to sit, his name is Stephen Hawking. So Stephen Hawking used to come and sit there in the winter because British winter is still cold and California in the north is very mild. Sunny California, everyone says. So as a kid, growing up in Norobra, and I have really come from a very দুস্থ পরিবার যাকে বলে আমরা সবাই বলি আমরা একটা ঘরে মানুষ হয়েছি ওয়ান রুম বারো বাই চোদ্দ রুম মেঝেতে মাটি ছিল ঘ্যাসের দেওয়াল প্লাস্টার ছিল না ওপরে অ্যাসবেস্টারের চাল দুবেলা খাওয়ার যুক্ত না পেট উপরে এজ এ কি ইফ ইউ আর হাঙ্গি ইউ গো টু বেড হাঙ্গি ডেন ফলার ফ্রি 
tries to stay awake because out of hunger. Often you don't have a shop in the shop. A shop in the shop is a shop in the shop. Yet it doesn't cost anything to see. And so that you can still be, I should dream, I should dream about all the newspaper you look most of them. They are scientists, um, Stephen Hawking, the Richard Feynman from Caltech. So now I should support the one half time day. Also I give you a little bit of a word. In Caltech, if you look at Stephen Hawking, you can see that you can see that you can see that तो अपन अभी हफ्ता की ये ये तो तीन ही करता है। हफ्ता में जे अभी की शेष शॉप में ना कोनो देखी ना इस बिया में थी। तो दैट इज़ द काइंड ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट क्या इट अच्छा है। एंड टू टॉक टू स्टीफन हॉकिंग दर अदर पीजीस पीजीस तो का वन ऑफ देम इज़ ही थॉट मेनी ऑफ यू माइट नो दैट they actually detected the gravity in the way for the first time. So that is the kind of environment that was there at Caltech. So the history of NASA is that um, there were some Caltech professors, they, are doing, they were doing some experiments in the mountain. And so they were doing in the mountain, making it away from the campus. And then the chase train started, the Sputnik happened, and the president of U.S. Kennedy at the time said, okay, we need a space agency and NASA was born. And then actually, that's why JPL is older than NASA in that respect. Before I start talking about the technology, I want to pay my homage to a son of our soil, Dr. J.C. Bohr. Actually, who doesn't have a uh, smartphone here? I'm sure yeah, all of you have a smartphone. And smartphone technology is a wireless technology, right? And the father of wireless technology is JC Bohr. He did the first wireless demonstration in Main Beach way, way back in 1900. In 1896, he developed the first dial. It's called Bohara. That Marconi has to use for his wireless you know, communication. And for that, Marconi got Nobel Prize. J.C. Bosnagar got Nobel Prize, unfortunately. So what you see today, so I have shown a picture of, of the smartphone here. And you can see what the smartphone has done. It has replaced so many things. Look at what he has replaced on the right. How many people are watching or wearing a watch today? I think very few. Not that many. I don't. You don't need it. That your smartphone does all those stuff. Who has a video camera in most of the time? No. Very few people roam around with a Nikon camera. That's a lot. You don't need it. Your iPhone 15 Pro camera is great. So that's what the you know, wireless revolution has done. And in that, Dr. J.C. Bose plays a big role. Let's start with the Big Bang Theory. This is not the Big Bang Theory you want on TV. It's the real Big Bang Theory. So we believe that the universe started with the Big Bang. And the first slide of this universe that we came out, the credit. It's not working well. Okay. 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 I mean, if you say that, our work is equal to the same thing. So, I would say that the Big Bang Theory, we believe the universe started with the Big Bang. That is the current theory and whatever experiment, experimental evidence that we have today points to that theory. So, there are a few other theories, like steady state theory and all, but I know current evidence does not support that. So the current age of the universe, according to the Big Bang Theory, is about 13.85 billion years. Our universe started at, at you know, those years ago. As you know, Secretary Maharaj was saying about electromagnetic wave, if you want to learn about this universe, going back in time, that what happened, 
how did this all come about? How all star galaxies, all these things formed? If you want to know about it in electromagnetics, you can go back in time only up to about 400,000 years after the Big Bang. Because that's where the first light of this universe, called a Vishya Pratham Alo, that came out after 400,000 years of Big Bang. Take bola hai, cosmic microwave background signal. And it's very interesting, two scientists, they discovered it, their name is Wilson and Penzias. They were doing some communication experiments way back in 1960s. And when they were doing that experiment, they were finding that every time they were having in their receiver, there was some extra noise. You know, receiver noise was cheap. Jada kaise puro no dino radio achhe kara hoy to sunche na hiss noise achhe na. Aaj par us ke radio dekhe ni amra dekta hoon. Jo ata baksho mato. That is extra noise, and they could not explain from where that noise is coming. And then they started thinking about it, and then they realized what they were looking at was the first light of this universe. And for that, they went on to win the Nobel Prize in 1972. So next time, many of your students here, you do your experiments in your lab, and sometimes when you do some measurements. He cannot explain your measurement very well. And when you cannot explain, what do you think? You think it must be experimental error. Next time, you do your experiment. Don't think, when you cannot explain something, don't think it is experimental error. You might win the Nobel Prize, you know. Right? So, we actually try to understand this universe in electromagnetic waves, and I'll talk a little bit about those electromagnetic. So as I said, we are trying to answer big science questions. So what is the biggest science question of today, of every human being's mind? Are we alone in this universe? Is there life anywhere else outside of planet Earth? You must have read all your internet, people are finding aliens, and WhatsApp messages will come very often, aliens have been detected, YouTube videos. I want to make one thing very clear to you all. So far, we have not found anything, any sign of any life anywhere outside of planet Earth. Not even a single cell. We have not found anything. So if someone says they have found some alien, please let us know so that we stop working and spending billions of dollars. We have not found anything. But the question is, is there a possibility of life? Can we find life? Amraki unno amade pithimi baile kothao prane shandhan pete pari? That's a very question. But what do I think? What do scientists think? Let's do some thought experiments. Eje amade pithimi, our, the art is in the Milky Way galaxy. Akash Gonga, galaxy actually. In our Milky Way galaxy, we have about 100 billion stars. 100 billion. That is 11 zeros after one. And in our universe, we have about 100 billion such galaxies. Think how many stars we have in our universe. And we are finding that majority of these stars, they have global planets going around. And not only one planet or star, more than one planet, like our sun, has how many planets? Eight. If you have nine, Pluto is not a planet anymore. So question is, what is the probability that we can find some kind of life in one of those trillions and trillions of planets? It has to be a non-zero probability. And that's what we are searching for. But when we are searching for life, we are searching for our kind of life. Hydrocarbon based life. For that we need certain elements. It's called chonops. C, carbon, H, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur. These are the building blocks of life. We look for those. And also we found that we are looking for 
the planet which are in a habitable zone. Habitable zone in the sense that our kind of life need water. Now many of you will say that why can there be other form of life that we don't know about? Why are you searching for those kind of life? Very good question. Problem is what do you look for? We know our kind of life so we can look for those but there could be other kind of life we don't know anything about. Govindana Thakur जीवन खुजे बेड़ा our kind of life. So we might stumble upon other kind of life, but we cannot actively search for because we don't know what to look for. So so far we have found 5,000 plus exoplanets. They are called exoplanets. Unnam no gruhe, unnam no mane tara ye gruho gulu roes. That exoplanet bolle. At tarmo the we have also found many of the planets which are in the habitable zone. In the sense the conditions are such that life can exist. Only problem is they are far off places, those planets. It will take 40 million years for us to go there. That is not going to happen in our lifetime, to go there and find out. So we'll have to understand, we have to learn about them sitting here on our planet Earth or from space. So that's what we are doing. We are trying to learn as much in the atmosphere. Do they have oxygen? Do they have water in those planets? It's very intriguing and not easy to do. We have to develop technologies for that. Our technology that we have is not good enough to answer many of these questions. That's why I'm talking to you all. Come and help us, join us to develop new technologies. NASA is a very open place. We always take the best and the brightest. And we have to develop. We have a lot of work ahead to answer these questions. So how to find this kind of planets is not easy. Again, you need technologies to do that. You are sitting here. So what we do is that what you see here, let's say you find a star and you can isolate that total amount of light. If you can separate that and then put a detector to detect that light on a camera. And then when a planet at a globe goes in front of it, the total amount of light reduces significantly. If your detectors are sensitive enough, you'll be able to detect that. And from there, you can show there's a planet going around it. And once you actually find a planet, a lot of things you can learn. What is the orbit size? What is the size of the planet? If you know the size of the planet, then you know the volume. If you know the volume, then you know the mass because you have, you know, the centripetal centrifugal forces. And from there, if you know volume, you know the mass, you know the density. Density means, is it a gaseous planet? Is it a rocky planet? What is the density of the planet? You know a lot of things. And that's what we try to do. And as I said that we actually have trillions of trillions of planets, but we found only 5,000. Why? Because we have not really looked around that much. So far, this is our Milky Way galaxy. We have looked it on a very narrow area of Milky Way galaxy so far. And that's why we found only 5,000, because we don't have the technology to look beyond that. We we'll have to do a lot more work to know more. Those planets that we are talking about, as I said, are our places. But is there a possibility of life in our own solar system? What do you think? Let's look around. What we are seeing here is a moon of Saturn called Enceladus. Enceladus is a very cold planetary body. What you can see here, water is gushing out from there. What you see is water is gushing out. This was detected by one of the instruments. Actually, I was involved in. I developed that instrument. And we detected 
If water is coming out, it's a cold planetary body that has to be a source of energy. If, so there is water, there is energy, it's the light. What is this coming out? We don't know. So NASA is actually planning a mission to go there and find out what else is coming out. Is that in the form of life? Is there any organic materials? We don't know. There, is pos there could be possibility of life in the Enceladus. We don't know yet. Another very interesting planetary body where that could be life is Europa. Europa is the moon of Jupiter. And again, it is a very cold planetary body. Scientists have believed there is a liquid water ocean in Europa on the top left that you see. Water ocean under thick ice shell. The thickness of the ice shell is about 15 kilometers to 100 kilometers. If there is a liquid water ocean, which means there has to be a mantle source of energy that is keeping the water in liquid form. It's a very cold planetary body. Is there water, energy, is there light? So NASA is planning to have a go there and find out. Now as a NASA scientist, I come to you, a lot of students are here. We say Amra Jatsi Europate. So what kind of instrument do you want to build to find out if there is life there? What kind of instrument you are going to build? Obvious answer Habe. We can send a dream. We drill a hole, load a bucket, and see if there is any fish. All of us like fish. The problem is it takes about seven years to go to Europa. It's far off. And when you send a mission like this to one of these planets, total amount of power, energy that we have had is about 400 watts. 400 watts of the chakte light bulb. You cannot have a drill to drill through 15 to 100 kilometers of ice with 400 watts. So you'll have to think differently. So what happens is it turns out there are a lot of cracks on these ice and all the material that will seep all that to the top. But you will be so cold, it freezes. However, it's very close to Jupiter and Jupiter has very high magnetic field on a radiation. And that radiation actually sputters all the material that are on the surface, it comes in the atmosphere. And you can do very high resolution spectroscopy to see what is there on that in those atmosphere. The material you look for as organic material fashion. Organics does not necessarily mean life, but in the precursor to life. So we are actually trying to do exactly that. We are sending instruments to do that to find out if there is life in Europa. And you all know that we keep going back to Mars. Why? If you look at Mars, one of the main reasons is Mars is our closest neighbor. It is easier to go there to Mars. It takes still takes seven months. But landing on Mars is not easy. We all know Mongolian. Many of you know. It's not easy at all to land on Mars. But in the early history, Mars resembles so much like our planet Earth. And that's why it keeps going back. And for that we have been developing technologies like building rovers, many of you know the rovers, Mars rover land for We started with that Pathfinder 1996 and then bigger and bigger rovers we have flown. And they are saying it is not easy to go to land on Mars. I'll give an example. The latest mission we had for Mars is the Perseverance mission, Mars 2020. Let's tell how difficult it is. You know what happens when you go to Mars? Mongolia jagon amra jai. Dubo chore, uti dubo chore ek bar kore ekta shumai ashe. Then the distance between Mars and Earth is the shortest. Only then we can launch a mission to Mars. Otherwise, we won't be able to reach there. That's why you have the window of opportunity once in two years, and it's about you know, 10 to 15 days time, within that time we'll have to launch. Look at this, what we did is that when it was launched on the left side, July 30, 2020, that's where the Mars orbit was. The orange line, the orbit is Mars orbit. 
the blue one is our art closet and our sun. And then we have to go, our spacecraft has to reach at the top point there just before Mars arrives there. Mars to the Okane Age Pochaja, then we miss completely. The spacecraft speed, cruising speed is about 77,000 km per hour. Very high speed. But if you have to go in the Martian atmosphere, you will have to slow down. So we slow down at the peak point. We slow down at about 20,000 km per hour. And then Mars comes from behind and we will have to enter the Martian atmosphere. It has to be captured by Martian gravity. Otherwise, we miss. One of the problems of Mars is that Mars has atmosphere like ours. Into Mars' atmospheric density, 1% of planet Earth's density. Could light. As a result, what happens? It does not slow down. I'm like upon Mars' entry, it doesn't slow down that easy. Because there is not enough atmosphere to slow it down. Then we have to go at a certain angle. We enter in Martian atmosphere at an angle of 11 degrees. That makes, gives us maximum friction. And then we use a parachute. But parachute is deployed at very high speed, around 20,000 kilometers per hour. It's very high speed. The normal parachute will break apart. So we had to develop a very special kind of parachute. And after that, we use some thrusters to slow us down. You can see that, thrusters. And then, you cannot have the thruster all the way to the ground. Why? Because your instrument is mounted at the bottom of the spacecraft. And if you have the thrusters, Mars has a lot of stones and dust. Thruster, you have all these stones and dust will come up and destroy your instrument. So we came up with a great technology, a sky crane. So your spacecraft hovers around at certain height. She can't take a crane, our spacecraft can be And then the cords are cut and it flies away. And we are doing it on another planet, which is 200 and 250 million kilometers away. Think about it, it's not easy to accomplish those things. But we have been very successful when we land there and we are doing amazing stuff. This is the Perseverance rover that was in our lab at JPL just before we actually packed it up and sent it. It has a lot of very complicated instruments to do experiments. Why we are going there? We are trying to find out is there life on Mars today? Was Mars ever habitable? Mars is not alive. We are not alive. We are not alive. We are not alive. We are not alive. One of them is actually a generator called Moxie, name of the instrument. You can do a Google search afterwards. It is generating oxygen from the atmosphere. So that in future, if the astronauts go there, they will have to carry oxygen from here. And also, we, in future, we might land, we we'll launch something from Mars. Oxygen can be used as fuel, rocket fuel. They didn't know about the put. Now look at this. These pictures, if I tell you, the picture on the left is one of the roads in Kondogor in the monsoon season. Actually, these are all from Marsha Mongol and Chubiyaguru. If you look them, they look so much like our planet Earth. Our Vishesh Kore, on the left, Jogulo Dechweta, Igulo, eight horonet terrain we get, only where there is flowing water. Jolis Sod Yodi Thakye, Tokuni eight horonet Amla Jaga Dekhte Pai. Tarmane, Akshumai, Mars is flowing water, Chilo Mongol Rohe. In the Akhon Amla Jokhon Jai, we don't see flowing water. The question is, what happened? What did the water go? Can it happen to our own planet? And what can we do to prevent it? 
So these are very important big questions and that's why we are trying to understand by going there. And we have doing a lot of experiment for that. Arakta science Kothaboli is about Golam water. Yamna Golam Je, when we for like, we need water. A Vishaki or Jotishto Dola Se, is there enough water in this universe? That is the question. It turns out, Je Jekhanevi, Notun Notun star, Toyri Hoy, Shekhane, Amra Dekhi water molecule, they travel at a very high speed. 200,000 km per hour. If you fire a bullet from AK-47 rifle, bullet has speed of 2,500 km per hour. Thermally, these water molecules are traveling at 80 times faster. If something travels at that high speed, generally destroy it. What a heat generator. But somehow, the conditions are such that you have to combine generates huge amount of water. Kotota water, Amazon River. Brazil, Amazon River, Amazon River, total Amazon, 100 million times of total Amazon River is water is being developed per second. Put this second day, Kotota Kore John Tori will change start. I'm not only in Jolachi. There is enough water in this universe. Is there water? Is, is there life? So that is the question. I mean, technology baller like it. I like to talk about it. Only thing how to know na. The amade jokhon pithi bi thori hoye chilo. There is no water. Our pichani the tharo na. The thum ke tu. Amade bishi. Amade pithi bi the jole ne chhe. If I say that, tumra shobai bolbe. Chhato chhato. Yada ekhane achhe. What is the proof? Very good question. We'll have to have the proof, right? So how do you know that comets brought water to us? It turns out there are different kinds of water. That water that we drink, this water is H2-16O, oxygen and isotope 16, most stable of isotope. But there are other kinds of water, H2-17O, H2-18O, HDO, acta hydrogen, acta deuterium, acta oxygen also, also you call it. D2O, everyone knows heavy water that is needed for nuclear power plant. If you take the ratio of abundance of different kinds of water, yet a ratio a thumketu ye water ase. Tui thumketu gulo to one ek jol thake. They are actually filled with water. If the abundance ratio is same, the source has to be the same. So we have measured that, the abundance ratio. Kintu amra akhon koi to matro dosh khana e rakho measurement kore chhe. Not enough to say that yes, thumketu brought water to us. Shai jo nami ki kochi, Amade group e, amra ekta nokun instrument tori kochi, kuk choto, I'll talk about that. That very small instrument that will go to multiple of these dhumketu and do this measurement. It's called very high resolution spectroscopy. Kore, the abundance measure kore dekbe and answer for once and all. The dhumketu ki jole ne se, amade vishya. So that's what we are trying to do. So in this process, what we are doing, I actually skip some of the slides because um, I don't have, I have some videos that are not working. We can land a rover on Mars, but our PowerPoint sometimes doesn't work. We have to fix that. So before that, I want to talk about something else. Because I have talked about technology, NASA technologies, right? One of the technologies that we did, Amra actually, we went to an asteroid and brought some samples from an asteroid. What you are seeing the picture is the materials we brought from an asteroid. Just landed, just brought it back. A color linked, a coke can and moto can in that. Because these asteroids so much like our own planet. We are trying to understand that how our planets evolve. So that's why going to an asteroid and bringing this material in is very, very important. 
Another thing we have we just launched, you know, last year, October we launched, is something called Psyche. It's going to another asteroid, Grohan, called Namotepar Psyche. It's an amazing asteroid. Amadhi Jamon Prithibi, Prithibi Thiki has a mantle, has a core, metal core has a, on top we have crust, and all this mud, all this stuff. So if you want to know about the core, we have to go down, but it's very difficult to do that. This asteroid, interesting because all this crust and core has been stripped away. What is left is just that metal, the metal core. This metal is about 60% iron and you can see, and nickel, all metal. So we have sent something, it is far away, 350 crore kilometers away, 3.5 billion kilometers. It will take six years to go there, but we will learn so much more about all this metallic core that how, because planets are formed from these Grohanus. So we will learn about the Prithivik Yuhara to the Virgil. That's why we are doing this. Then I talk a little bit about technology. Every now and off, now and then, Shokalbala Abnara Kunte Kunte, WhatsApp a message pan. The actor asteroid Agami Shoktae Pitiviki Thong Shukrasich. Very common. Atate Lekme Lekhache Nasa Bulaj. Kokono Bolle Na Isro Bulaj. I don't know why. Nasa Bulaj Chai Eta Thong Shukrasich. Is it true? So Tiki Thong Shukrasich. Akhano Bolle Ni Tokai. So the students, if you think, okay, you are examining next week, a new epithelium is going to get down, so you don't study. It's not going to work, unfortunately. So let's look into this. So take each other, what they are And what can we do about it? What is NASA doing about it? Let's look into that. So if you look in the sky, we find that there are different sizes of asteroids. And that is some of the tracks of some of those asteroids are coming to us up. Yes. So how many, what is the size of this? If there are 25 meter size asteroids are there, we have tracks and once in 100 years, one of those tracks, Amade Pichipitika Astepari, actually active. But that's small. Whenever they, if they come in our atmosphere, most of them will burn in the atmosphere itself. So, Khoti Kaman Hobet, Choto Ule. 140 meters after football ground and model, there are tracks in once in 20, you know, 20,000 years, their tracks aligns in our, to our stars. In the 25,000 of those, we are tracking, we track about 40% of those. If they come and hit, there will be some damage. But it's not going to destroy our planet. But the bigger ones, one kilometer size, but 10 kilometer size, they grow away, there are only 900 of one kilometer size. And we found all of them, more or less all of them. But if they come and hit, there will be global destruction then our planet Earth will be destroyed more or less. Same thing with the big one, but only four of them can come to our way. And once in 100 million years. Not, it's very, very rare. But if they come and hit us, it is going to be destroyed. So what are you doing? So what we did, we actually developed a mission called Dark Mission. Amra Two Grohan Pesi, that one of big Grohan, big asteroid, around that a small asteroid is going around. And we sent our spacecraft, mass of the spacecraft was about 570 kg. So we tried to go and hit the outer asteroid and trying to see can we change its orbit. In orbit, we have change for the body. Tarmane, to the Kono asteroid, Amade Tega Ashe, we can go and hit it and deflect it from us. 
if we are successful. So we wanted to do that. We did. And also it has some cameras. It took some beautiful pictures. You can see as it was going to hit that small asteroid, you can see the pictures of all this. It looks so much like our own planet. All the stones, all this dust. And bingo, it actually hit it well. Good sign, we hit exactly. And it's just far off. Small asteroid. And after we had to wait for a couple of days to see if had anything happened. You can see that original orbit was 11 hours 55 minutes. And after that, the orbit became 11 hours 23 minutes. Which means that we have changed it enough that it will actually avoid. If it happens to our direction, it will avoid hitting our planet Earth. So next time, your friends sends you WhatsApp message that our art is going to get destroyed next week. Just to show we are okay. Even if it comes, we have technology to help you. Okay? So we have, let's talk about technology. How do we develop technologies? We have been developing a lot of technologies to do this kind of stuff. So one of the things we have developed is called CubeSats. CubeSats are small, shoebox size sat satellites. You don't box your size of satellite. But they are very powerful. Now the size of the chair, 20 cm by 30 cm by 2 cm. One to add the cube. But they are very powerful. This is actually demonstrated. This one went to Mars and did some experiments of communication. I can give you another question. You could have seen how they work, how they launch, how they are released. Unfortunately, video is not working here. So I have to disallow all videos. Uh, here also there was another tube set we actually developed for called Rain Cube, where we have made very good antenna to do a radar instrument to know about our storms. To look through that, to look through the eyes of the storm. We have some technology to actually track them, so we have developed some of this. So, let's talk a little bit about, this is what I will talk about and then we can take uh, answer, question and answer. Bullam de Amra Jai Thum Ketu Jol NHC Seta Praman Kora Jyon Amra Dekta Choto Instrument Jodhi Kochi. So let's talk about that instrument. Name of the instrument actually I came up with the uh, acronym called One Water Hunting Advanced Terahertz spectrometer on an ultra small platform. Acronym is WhatsApp because we are trying to answer the question WhatsApp is water. And that's why the name is uh, WhatsApp. So this is the thing we are trying to do. And of course, when we are building some instruments, we find we wanted to make this instrument total 2 kilo ojon a total amount of power patch watt, high watt, sorry. And when we started thinking about it, we found that we need a lot of innovation. A lot of things are not available. So how do innovation happen? How do you do, how do you innovate? You cannot wake up in the morning and say, let's innovate something today. It doesn't happen that way. What happens is you face some challenges, and then when you're trying to solve it, and then you realize, okay, talk to your friends, talk to your colleagues, and then you come up with a new idea and then try to solve that problem. So we actually did a lot of those things. So we actually developed a very low profile antenna at very high frequency. This is at the antenna that we developed. We have a patent for this after we developed this. And this is also another antenna, it's called uh, lens antenna that we, are, we had to develop. It was not available before. And then we also developed some switches. It's called MEMS based switch. I can talk about it if you have any questions later on because I don't want to you know, bore you with all the details of MEMS and switches. But switches are needed to calibrate. Because when you are doing measurement, the Amra Kup Shukho measure for a Kista Kochi, the Jolly, between the Rokom Jolly, Kade, Maja Reshu, that was Potota Jol H216 O, Potota Jol H217 O. So when you measure Kota Hai, you really need an instrument that can say correctly the type as a ratio. 
So we have developed a lot of different things. This is another technology that they developed called, you know, piezoelectric based motor switch. And also, we use some your, you know, cell phone technology. How about the cell phone, smartphone, the other technology I said, that is called SOC, System on a Chip. That is done using CMOS technology. So we actually are using, because if you try to save, send your iPhone or Samsung phone in space, it will destroy no time. It cannot survive in space. Because space has radiation, bad radiations, you know, thermal conditions and radiations, cosmic ray radiation will destroy your phone. So we'll have to actually develop new kind of technology, but similar to what you have, that is smart technology in your instrument. We have been developing that, we did that. And now we have put all the instruments together. This is our WhatsApp instrument. You can see here, one with this antenna, and other one with the lens antenna. And in this picture, you can see what is the size of the instrument. You can see their size in our lab, after we actually assembled everything. And then we are ready to fly. We actually put them together on a balloon, and then flew it. So it is all ready. We have built multiple copies of this. Jodi Kobish Shote Kono Mars Kono Jakun Kono Mission Havana. Idea is that we get a ride. On the way, this small satellite, this size satellite, will be thrown out in the space and then we'll go to the comet and do the measurement and send that data back. How exciting is that? So that's what we are waiting for. It's going to happen pretty soon. I mean, next three slides I'll talk about one thing and then we'll end. I'll talk about Ingenuity Helicopter. Mars say, a Perseverance mission is a camera helicopter fly for a chit and now Ingenuity. So all of you will say, we see helicopter here all the time in the sky. What is the big deal? Yeah, helicopter by what a cano, Mars cano by helicopter. The rover cannot go everywhere, right? It has limited accessibility. Now, if we have a helicopter or a drone, whatever you want to call it, any rotor craft, the helicopter can take over from the rover, go wherever it wants to go, and take some pictures, and find what are interesting places to do experiment. Send the data back to the rover, then the rover can go there. It will be all autonomous. All AI based machine learning. Everyone nowadays wants to work on AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Artificial intelligence is great. You know what is greater? Real intelligence. That's what you need. So, mm, Okay, I have to cancel this. Okay. Okay. It got the right time to do this. Okay. So, then what is the big deal about flying a helicopter on Mars? You pull them, put them in. The mass of the atmosphere, the density, which is one percent. As a result, the helicopter flight was to the lift to the water. That is the plate that the helicopter is. They rotate at certain speed, called the RPM, revolution per minute. Our the picture is that the helicopter is that blade is the RPM is 500 to 600 revolution per minute. But since Mars atmosphere is only 1%, so you know the revolution of the about 3,000 revolution per minute. It's very hard. Something that small at this high speed is not stable. So we have to really do a lot of experiments. And what is the helicopter going to do? Idea was, this was a technology demonstration. The Amra Teen Take a Charwat Five Robo, Kuru Deko Eka Shutti Orekina, Kondokono Rohegye. And we'll go on there about a little bit, few, few distance, few meter distance, three. 
And it's a fully autonomous, as I said. Everything it does on its own flies and sends the data back. It is a very small one. It, uh, about 1.4 kilogram ozone, 220 watts of power, it has its own solar panel to do that. Okay, we developed the helicopter and tested in our lab. Mars helicopter, our PCB test the PCB atmosphere is different. We have 1% atmosphere, so we have to create completely Martian environment, where in atmosphere 1%, you can do vacuum, semi vacuum. After gyroscope, Martian gravity is different. Mars summer is You have to create that kind of gravitational environment. Started, then we tested everything. And then this helicopter was mounted under the belly, you can see there, under the belly of the Perseverance rover. And there's a protective cover. So after the Perseverance rover landed there, we dropped the cover. You can see slowly the helicopter was lowered down. All this picture that's taken by the camera that is there on the rover. So these are real pictures. These are not you know, fake pictures. They are real pictures taken by the rover on Mars. And you can see on the left, the helicopter is actually all the four legs are down and then helicopter is on its own. And you can see the track marks of the rover that moved away. So rover was standing at 40 meter distance. It had a, a video camera as well. And then first flight of this we tried in April 19, 2021. Idea was that the helicopter will go up, toss foot moto jabe, then it will hang around for about total 40 seconds flight, and then it will come down. What you are seeing here is the real altimeter data that helicopter took. It was successful flight. So I had a very good video of the first flight here. What you are seeing here at the bottom, that is the helicopter sitting there, background in Mars. This video was taken by the Perseverance rover, and you would have seen the helicopter actually first flight. Unfortunately, the video is not working, because if you click on it, it says something is not available. So it's not working here, otherwise you would have seen it. So it actually worked. So we are very thrilled. It was 3 a.m. in Pasadena time when the first helicopter flew. We are very happy. And since then, as I said, the idea was to fly only three to four times. And since then, we have been trying to break this helicopter. Why? We are trying to go as fast as possible. As far as possible. As high as possible. Try to understand when it breaks. And this thing was not breaking. And then, it actually did, sorry, you're not there. So, it did 72 flights instead of three flights. So we built something that flew 72 times. 18th of January, unfortunately, when it was landing, it tilted a little bit, and the blade clicked the ground. And then the helicopter destroyed. So it's not flying anymore. But we made 72 flights. So that tells you that we can actually do something like this. That is the exciting part. I actually was part of the team that did this work. So it's very exciting when you do work on something like this and goes there. On a key biggest group of the helicopter Mars theory Amadar ki lao bhaavo. Amadar mudde is on a question of the jage. One of the things that we can do, Amra jani je Himalai to on a key jai, high altitude to jala thakke, ukhane jokhan kokun kono disaster hai, Amra rescue kutte pari na. Why? The helicopter will open up to the gate, fly for it, after it's too good about it. But now, we have a technology of a helicopter that can fly in very, very light atmosphere. So we are developing this kind of technology for disaster management in high altitude areas. So they can, you can drop medicine, you can drop food, you can rescue people. So, space application of Jemno Kach Kuleo, you can actually see direct relationship, some of these, that you can use on a planet Earth. So there are a lot of exciting stuff going around, a lot of new technology that gave 
just take a glimpse of some of them that is going on. It's very fast. So with that, I will end and I'll be more than happy to take some questions if you have any. Thank you, thank you so much. Any questions, anyone? Thank you, uh, Arivan uh, Gautam sir. Very nice presentation. We have learnt a lot. This, uh, I want to know that whether this, uh, this uh, helicopter technology in light atmosphere uh, for dropping medicine, it will be very useful for the defense people who work in uh, high technology. Is this technology available presently with India? The question was, is this technology available in India for Indian defense? Probably, right? So, we, NASA, we made it available for everyone. I am showing all this stuff. So, if you want to make on your own, go ahead and make it. So, it is available for you. Now, this type of technology is, must be in your patent or intellectual property must be. Uh, that is patent, but you can always license the patent. So, we can make it indigenously. You can make it indigenous, yes, absolutely. Or otherwise, drone can be used. Drones, drones. Yeah, as I said, it need not be a helicopter. Helicopter is a rotor craft. You can call it anything. You can call it drone, you can call it... But again, what you have to do is develop the correct technology. That how can a drone, if you try to fly a currently available drone in a very high altitude, Shekhane atmosphere at the light, the drone is not going to fly because it doesn't get enough lift. So that's why you have to modify your drone to make it work in those environments. That's where the challenge lies. But technology is available, so I want our people to work on this and develop indigenous those kind of drones. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Any other question? Yes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, 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 I they pay up on helicopter, Amadekan and Sikil Chari, the Kananko dust at it, Duloache, Baliache, on a Hawa hoy, but it actually does not go up in that direction. So that's how you design that when it actually disperses, the way the air disperses, that depends on the Tumikibabe, what angle you are designing your blade. So there is a lot of dynamics involved. Schedule design. Experiments, verification, validation, these are all steps you have to take to make sure you have a card coach. So in Mars environment, we did not have that problem because that's how we designed it. Any other question? Yes, I can. So you can ask anything, whatever is bothering you, not that I know the answer, but you can try, you can discuss. Sir, uh, is uh, Voyager 1 still sending any signals? Yes, very good question. Do you know that Voyager 1 and 2, two spacecraft, that has gone, that is the... I mean, Bangla, I 
যে ম্যান মেড যে অবজেক্ট মানে আমাদের মানুষের বানানো কোনো একটা যন্ত্র এখন পর্যন্ত ভয়জার ওয়ান অ্যান্ড টু যেটা কিনা সবচেয়ে ঝুলে গেছে আমাদের সৌরমণ্ডলের বাইরে চলে গেছে অত দূরে আর কোনো কিছু আমরা পাঠাতে পারি আই এম স্টিল ওয়ার্কিং সেন্ডিং ডেটা ব্যাক অনলি প্রবলেম হচ্ছে যে এত দূরে গেছে সেখান থেকে যদি ডেটা আসতে হয় তার জন্য যতটা পাওয়ার দরকার অ্যান্টেনার যত বড় সাইজ হওয়া দরকার তো আমাদের নেই তার ফলে ডেটা রে ইজ ভেরি লো অনলি ফিউ বিলস পার সেকেন্ড অ্যাজ এ রেজাল্ট ওখান থেকে যদি ভিডিও পাঠাতে হয় তোমরা ইউটিউবে যখন ভিডিও দেখো আনফর্চুনেটলি ইজ নট গোয়িং টু ওয়ার্ক দ্যাট ওয়ে বিকজ ইউ ক্যান জাস্ট সেন্ড দ্য হেলথ সিগনাল পাঠায় যে বলে আমি বেঁচে আসি এই টাইপের ইনফরমেশন পাঠায় সো ভেরি লো ডেটা রে is the life on mars today both the answer to that is we don't know yet thank you the question just behind ha boshe bolun boshe bolun dara pabe bolchi je after helicopter ta try korchen keno mars e ki ta kono karon hai je ami age bolo karon ta hocche je আর যে আমরা যখন রোভার পাঠাই রোভার তো সর্বত্র যেতে পারে না কিছু কিছু জায়গায় যায় তাই আমরা যদি একটা হেলিকপ্টার পাঠাতে পারি যার মধ্যে অনেক রকম যন্ত্রপাতি থাকবে সে ওই হেলিকপ্টার উঠে ঘুরে সেখানে সব দেখে কোথায় কি ইন্টারেস্টিং জিনিস আছে সেই সংবাদটা যদি এই রোভারকে পাঠায় তাহলে রোভার সেই অনুযায়ী ওখানে গিয়ে এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করবে কেন আমাদের রোভারের পাঠানোর কারণটা হচ্ছে ওইগুলো জানার এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করার জন্য যেমন রোবার ওখানে গিয়ে মাটির স্যাম্পল তৈরি নেয় তারপর দেশে অন্যদিকে কী কী আছে ওখানকার যে রকস রয়েছে স্টোনস রক তাতে ড্রিল করে তার জিনিসপত্র নিয়ে আমরা এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করছি কেননা আমরা তো এই আমাদের ল্যাবরেটরি যেমন আমরা এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করি অন দ্য গ্রাউন্ড সেগুলো তো অনেক বড় অনেক ওজন অনেক পাওয়ার লাগে we cannot send those things there tai all for to experiment kora jay shei jonno eta amader jeno jokhon rover ta ke pathano hoy jeno we can be more useful than hoy shei jonno ei helicopter diye janar chesta korchi kothay gele bhalo hoy seta kora sir 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 toto ba chilo special ha ami dekhte parchi na kon jon আচ্ছা গুড পৃথিবীর বাইরে প্রাণীদের সন্ধান আসা যাচ্ছে আর সত্যি একটা বিরাট একটা প্রশ্ন যদি জানালে দাবিটা করা হয় আমার প্রশ্ন যে যদি সত্যি প্রাণের সন্ধান পাওয়া যায় সেই পরবর্তী পদক্ষেপ না থাকে কি আচ্ছা খুব ইন্টারেস্টিং প্রশ্ন কেন না ফার্স্ট অফ অল এটা খুব একটা এক্সাইটিং হবে যে ফার্স্ট টাইম উইল ফাইন্ড আমরা কেন আমাদের খুব ইগো তোমরা এখানে যারা এখানে বেলুর মতো পড়াশোনা করছো তাদের প্রথমেই তোমাদের বোধহয় বলা হয় যে ইগো ত্যাগ করতে হবে আমাদের খুব ইগো যে আমরাই সব শ্রেষ্ঠ আমরাই একা আর কেউ কোথাও নেই প্রথমে সেই ইগোটা ভাঙবে যে না অন্য কোথাও প্রাণ আছে কি ধরনের প্রাণ আমরা জানি না সো হোয়াট নেক্সট ডে উইল বি টু ফাইন্ড আউট যে হোয়াট কাইন্ড অফ লাইফ ইজ দিস ইজ মোর অ্যাডভান্স লাইফ আমাদের থেকে অ্যাডভান্স কি না বা আমাদের থেকে পিছিয়ে কি না ইট কুড বি এনিথিং কিন্তু যে কোথায় পাবো কত দূরে গিয়ে পাবো সেগুলো আমরা এখনো জানি না যদি বেশি দূরে হয় উইল ট্রাই টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড উইল ট্রাই টু সেন্ড দ্যাম সিগনাল অনেকে বলবে কেন পাঠাবো ওরা এসে আমাদের এখানে বসেটি করবে ওদের তো খেয়ে কাজ নেই আমাদেরও যেন আমরা কি অন্য কোথাও যাচ্ছি বসতি করতে 
অনেকে বলে না আমরা মঙ্গলে কি আমরা ওখানে গিয়ে কলোনি করবে অনেকে এই প্রশ্ন করে যে মঙ্গলে উইল গো টু মার্স অ্যান্ড দ্যাট হবে কলোনি মঙ্গল আমি বলি এই বিশ্বে আমরা এখন পর্যন্ত জানি সবচেয়ে ভালো জায়গা যেখানে বাঁচা যায় মাঝ ভাতে সেটা তো আমাদের এই পৃথিবী অল আদার প্লেসেস কিন্তু উই নো নো হাট আর আদার প্লেসেস যে আমরা জানি সেগুলো হ্যাবিটেও করে ভালো নয় যেমন মার্সে গেলে অ্যাস্ট্রোনটে শ্যুট করে থাকতে হবে অক্সিজেন মাস্ক লাগবে হ্যাঁ ওই মুভিতে দেখা যায় ম্যাট যেমন আলু তৈরি করে খাচ্ছে আমি তাই বলি হ্যাঁ তুমি যে প্রশ্ন করলে না খুব ভালো প্রশ্ন এই জন্যই যে অনেক ভেতরে অনেক কিছু জড়িয়ে আছে যে কোনো কিছু যদি আমরা পাই কিভাবে বুঝবো ওটা লাই ওটাই যে একটা লাই তার What is the symbol of life? What is the signature of life? কিছু একটা সুন্দর জিনিস আছে আমরা যদি কোনো মেটেরিয়াল পাই উই লুক অ্যাট দ্য কাইরালিটি অফ দ্যাট সাইন্টিফিক্যালি যদি ভাবো উই লুক অ্যাট দ্য কাইরালিটি অফ দ্যাট অর্গানিক মেটেরিয়াল সো এনি জীবন জড়িত জাতীয় যে জিনিস তার কাইরালিটি একরকম so what we do is we try to find the কাইরালিটি অফ দ্যাট অ্যান্ড দেন সো ইট ইজ নট এ সিম্পল প্রসেস to find life. Ami khub shohoj kore bolar chesta korchi. But it is not very simple. Can we have to do those experiments? Je eta ki shukti jibon, is it real life? So we don't know yet. Lot of things we don't know. So lot to do. Acha ekhane kar ekhane chilo hai. Okay. First of all, thank you for the amazing talk. Sir, uh Since you are talking about technology, I was wondering Voyager works on a, some kind of nuclear battery, right? Uh, Voyager, yeah. the Voyager space stuff. Yeah. The power on Voyager is given by some sort of nuclear battery. So my question is, whenever we see nuclear technology on Earth, those are usually pretty massive. So how do we, how did NASA make a small nuclear battery to put on board Voyager? So very good question. First of all, we have to answer the question. যে বলছে যে ভয়েজারে আমাদের যে পাওয়ারটা কোথেকে আসে যেহেতু আমাদের সৌরমন্ডল প্লুটোনিয়াম ইউজ করা হয় প্লুটোনিয়াম ইজ এ রেডিও অ্যাক্টিভ মেটেরিয়াল সো ইটস এ রেডিও অ্যাক্টিভ থার্মাল জেনারেটার সো ইট জেনারেট হিট ফ্রম দ্যাট সো ইট ডাজ নট প্রডিউস এ লট it cannot send a lot of nuclear materials on a space craft that color risk is low suppose it explodes and it radiation leaks out that will do lot of damage right so people are very worried about this we have to be double sure je eta kono khoti na hoy as a result we are very careful even now when you're sending something to mars you will ask why aren't we sending big rpgs if we are sending the that can destroy the life that's the problem another thing on the day i want to be careful that the hoy ke mongol grohe ke bhi planet khoj korchi make sure ke amra we are not carrying life from here and discovery is there right so planetary protection ek bola hoy is very important aspect amra khub careful e ba pare je amra ekhan theke ni gile notun kore discover korte chai na so that is the reason that we actually are very careful but still we cannot really send something to যেটা আমার নিয়ম হচ্ছে যে আপনার যে রোভার বা স্যাটেলাইট গুলো এগুলি কি সোলার সেল পাওয়ার হয় এবং একটা রোভারে কত কিলোওয়াট মতো সোলার সেল থাকে এই প্রশ্নের মানে একটু আগেই বললাম আর কি যে আগে যখন আমরা রোভার গুলো পাঠাতাম ইট ওয়াজ মোস্টলি সোলার সেল 
মঙ্গলে অনেক ধুলো পানি রয়েছে তার ফলে ধুলো এসে একটা পলেস তারা তৈরি করে
How does it work? কি হয় যে গ্র্যাভিটি তোর যদি জিনিসপত্র যেটা থাকে মধ্যাকর্ষণ সব নিজের থেকে টানে তাই তো কিন্তু সূর্য তো ছোট হয়ে যাচ্ছে না যদি শুধুই গ্র্যাভিটি কাজ করত তাহলে আস্তে 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 আমাদের সূর্যটা ছোট হয়ে যেত মধ্যাকর্ষণের জন্য সেটা কিন্তু হচ্ছে না দ্যাট ইজ এ ব্যালেন্সিং ফোর্স সেই ব্যালেন্সিং ফোর্সটা হচ্ছে রেডিয়েশন যে আমাদের সূর্যের ভেতরে কি হচ্ছে ফিউশন হচ্ছে তার জন্য ইট ক্রিয়েটস অল দিস রেডিয়েশন অ্যান্ড ওয়েন দ্য দ্য ফোর্স অফ রেডিয়েশন ইজ ইন ইকুইব্রিয়াম উইথ দ্য মধ্যাকর্ষণ সেই জন্য এটা স্টেপ এই দুটো একদম পারফেক্ট ব্যালেন্স হবে বাট উইথ তার কি হয় যে মেটেরিয়াল যে সূর্যের স্টার্স ডিক্রিজিং many stars it happens that radiation force starts reducing and motion of the body as a result the star collapses the density gets higher take bola hai supernova explosion i hear about supernova explosion hote hote then those the density bachche bole tar motion party start gathering material from other stars other area সেটা হতে হতেই আস্তে আস্তে ব্ল্যাক হোল তৈরি হয় দ্যাট ইজ দা ওয়ে ব্ল্যাক হোল অলসো কাপস ইট ব্ল্যাক তো ইট ইজ ইট উইল টেক টাইম ফর আওয়ার সূর্য টু অ্যাকচুয়ালি অল দ্য মেটেরিয়াল গো আওয়ে সো দ্যাট ইট উইল কোলাপ সো আমাদের এখন চিন্তার কোনো কারণ নেই মানে সামনেই এটা হচ্ছে না কিন্তু ভবিষ্যতে একসময় কোটি কোটি বছর পর একসময় হবে আস্তে আস্তে আমাদের সূর্যটা ছোট হতে থাকবে and it becomes one more but not now acha okhane ekjon haat ache tar pore ashi tomar kache ha ekhane acha tumi bolo sir area 51 ki real life e ache ami eto khub kore bhabchi na ami eto khub bhabchi na je ekono ke amake area 51 ni kichu bolbo na ji bapar keno je ekhane jai সায়েন্সের কথা বললে লোকে এরিয়া ফিফটি ওয়ান সত্যি একটা জায়গা আছে এরিয়া ফিফটি ওয়ান আর আমি যেখানে থাকি লস অ্যাঞ্জেলেসে কাছাডিনাতে এরিয়া ফিফটি ওয়ান তার থেকে খুব একটা বেশি দূরে নয় আর মহাবি ডেজার্ট বলে একটা জায়গা আছে ওখানে আসলে এরিয়া ফিফটি ওয়ান ইজ এ রিসার্চ ল্যাবরেটরি ফর নাসা নয় ইউএস ডিফেন্স অর্গানাইজেশন ওখানে ওরা অনেক রকমের এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করে তবে এরিয়া ফিফটি ওয়ান সম্বন্ধে ওই যে অনেক কিছুই যে তোমরা করো বা ইউটিউবে দেখো সেগুলো কিন্তু ফেক তা ইন্টারনেটে যা কিছু করছো তুমি খুব ছোট সে জন্য তোমাকে বিশ্বাস করে বলি সব কিছু কিন্তু ঠিক নয় সো ইউ হ্যাভ ইউ ভেরি কেয়ারফুল হোয়াট ইউ গেট ফ্রম ইন্টারনেট হোয়াট ইউ গেট ফ্রম ইউটিউব যে বলছে ওখানে নাকি এলিয়ানের উপর এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করা হয় কেন হয় কেন হয় আমরা যদি এলিয়ানের উপর এক্সপেরিমেন্ট ওখানে করি তাহলে নাসা অন্যদিকে আবার বিলিয়ানস অফ ডলার্স খরচ করবে কেন এলিয়ানসের জন্য আমি তো রয়েছে তাই না তা ওইগুলো না অনেক রকম এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করছে ডিফেন্সের জন্য যেগুলো কিনা ক্লাসিফাই যে ওরা গুলোকে বলবে না নাসা কি হয় আমরা তো নাসা ক্লাসিফাইড কিছুই নেই প্রায় আমরা যা করি হয় তোমাকে বললাম আমাকে বাধা দেয়নি কিন্তু না তা বলে যে ওদের কিনে করবে না কিন্তু ডিফেন্সে তো সেটা নয় অনেক সময় কেন যেগুলো স্ট্র্যাটেজিক হয় তা অনেক কিছুই আমরা জানি না কি ঘটছে তবে এটা গ্যারান্টি যে বলতে পারি যে ওখানে এরিয়া নেই আচ্ছা কোথায় আমাদের টেকনোলজি যেটা রয়েছে আপনাকে আমরা পাঠাতে পারবো কিন্তু ঠিক মতো ফিরিয়ে আনতে তার গ্যারান্টি নেই পারবো তার ফলে 
ওখানে যেতে পারে আমি জানি এ কথা শুনে অনেকে বলে আমাদের কিছু পলিটিশিয়ানকে পাঠানো হোক আপনাদেরকে পাঠাতে হয় কিভাবে সেভ করা হয় খুব ভালো প্রশ্ন প্রশ্ন হচ্ছে যে আমরা যখন এই বললাম মঙ্গলে তখন পাঠায় কিছু মঙ্গলের টেম্পারেচার সুইং খুব বেশি খুব ঠান্ডা হয় মাইনাস টু হান্ড্রেড থার্টি ডিগ্রি সেন্টিগ্রেড আবার ম্যাক্সিমাম টেম্পারেচার হয় আবার আঠেরো ডিগ্রি সেন্টিগ্রেড এই যে টেম্পারেচার সুইংয়ে আমরা কিভাবে মানে মেক শিওর যে ওখানেই ওটা কাজ করবে এই যে স্পেস মিশনগুলো এত এক্সপেন্সিভ হয় তার একটা কারণ হচ্ছে they will have to do all the their environment things amra bola hoy thermal vacuum so amra ki kori je instrument gulo toiri kori ekta vacuum toiri kori tate amra temperature cycling kori kore dekhi je eta survive korche kina sob kichu survive kore na bollam je ei amader smartphone cell phone won survive to do that thermal testing in that environment so that to make sure je chip gulo amra toiri korchi they are able to survive in those environments. Thermal back test, radiation test, another question is radiation. And now the space radiation hoi. Tate, most of the chips here, yeah, the cell phone and chips, will burn in no time. So we have to make sure we protect the electronics from this radiation. On a normal radiation, as you have to test for you, what is TID, total ionizing dose. হয়েছে ফ্লাই সামথিং আমরা বলি ওকে টিআরএল টেকনোলজি রেডিনেস লেভেল শুধু একটা কিছু আমরা এক্সপেরিমেন্ট করলাম তাকেই আমরা কিন্তু আকাশে পাঠাতে পারি না ইউ টু মেক শিওর হাউ মেচিওর দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান ইউ রিয়েলি ইউ সাস্টেইন অল ইউ দ্যাট মানে এগুলো করতে হবে পর আমরা যাচ্ছি ধূমকেতু মানে হচ্ছে আমাদের যে হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ ইনস্ট্রুমেন্ট আছে সেটা কিন্তু তা ওটা হচ্ছে ওখানে পৌঁছানোর পর ওর কাছাকাছি ওটা আমরা ল্যান্ড করবো না উইল ট্রাই টু গো অ্যাজ ক্লোজ অ্যাজ পসিবল 
সেখানে গিয়ে দূর থেকে আমরা মেজার করব সেটা করছি কিন্তু উনি যে বললে খুব ভালো প্রশ্ন যে ওয়ান্স দ্য স্পেস ক্রাফট আমরা যেটা রাইট পাচ্ছি ওটা আমাদের যখন বাইরে ছুটে দিল ওটা ইজ এ স্প্রিং লোডের স্ট্রাকচার ভিডিও ছিল ইজ এ ভিডিও উড অ্যাভ ওয়াক অ্যাজ দ্য শো ইউ হাউ অ্যাকচুয়ালি লঞ্চ ইট হাউ ইউ আর থ্রো নাও যে ওখানে যখন যাবে ইট হ্যাজ ইজ ও সিক্স ইউ টিপ স্যার বলে বললাম যে থার্টি সেন্টিমিটার বাই টোয়েন্টি সেন্টিমিটার বাই টেন সেন্টিমিটার একে বলে হিউজ মানে ইউনিট দিয়ে বলা হয় টেন সেন্টিমিটার বাই টেন সেন্টিমিটার বাই টেন সেন্টিমিটারকে ওয়ান ইউ ওয়ান ইউনিট বলা হয় তা আমাদের সিক্স ইউ রয়েছে তা কিছুটা যাবে তার মধ্যে প্রপালশান থাকবে ইট হ্যাজ ইন ও প্রপালশন সিস্টেম ইট হ্যাজ ইন ও কমিউনিকেশন সিস্টেম ইট হ্যাজ ইন ও স্টার্ট ট্র্যাকার কেননা আমাদের ওখানে তো জিপিএস নেই এখানে তো তোমাদের জিপিএস দেখে তোমরা গাড়ি চালিয়ে যাও আকাশে মহাকাশে জিপিএস কোথায় আমরা কিভাবে উঠবো আমরা কোথায় গিয়ে পৌঁছেছি তার জন্য স্টার্ট ট্র্যাকার লাগবে আমরা ট্র্যাক করতে থাকি যে কোথায় সেই তারা তার থেকে আমরা কত দূরে সে অনুযায়ী বুঝতে পারি আমরা কোথায় এটা খুব জরুরি জিনিস ওই সমস্ত জিনিসগুলো লাগবে ওই কিউব স্যাটের মধ্যে তখন যদি আমরা তারপর কমেন্টে গিয়ে পৌঁছে কাছাকাছি গিয়ে তারপর আমরা আমার যেটা প্রশ্ন সেটা হচ্ছে আপনি একটু আগে মেনশন করলেন যে আমরা ইউনিভার্সে কোনো অবজেক্টের অর্গ্যানিক কম্পাউন্ড তার মধ্যে যে কাইরালিটি অর্গ্যানিক কম্পাউন্ডের কাইরালিটি এটা দিয়ে আমরা জাজ করি যে মানে ওটা লাইফ ফর্ম সৃষ্টি করার উপযুক্ত কি তো আবার এই কথাটাও বললেন যে মানে এমন কোনো স্পিসিস বা এমন কিছু বহির্জাগতিক প্রাণী থাকতে পারে যার লাইফ ফর্মে ওয়াটার বা কার্বন নেই অন্য কিছু আছে তাহলে ওটা সত্যি লাইফ কিনা তার জন্য আমরা কি মেজার করবো ওগুলো করবো কিন্তু নন হাইড্রোকার্বন বেস যদি লাইফ আমরা পাই তখন তো কাইরালিটি মেজার করে সেটা জানা যায় না তো ইউ হ্যাভ নো আইডিয়া হোয়াট ইউ ইয়ে কোন কি করব আমরা উই ডোন্ট ইভেন নো হোয়াট উই ফাইন্ড দে উইল হ্যাভ টু কাম আপ উইথ সামথিং দ্যাট ও আচ্ছা জীবন তো এরকম হতে পারে দেন आवर নলেজ উইল স্টার্ট এখন পর্যন্ত ইউ ক্যান নট ডু এনিথিং अबाउट ইউ ক্যান বি এনিথিং কতদূর দেখ নাসার বাজেট ফিক্স সো ইউ হ্যাভ টু মেক এ ডিসিশন হোয়াট টু ডু গুড আফটারনুন স্যার এক মিনিট আমরা দুটো প্রশ্ন নিতে পারবো তাহলে আমাদের সময় প্রায় শেষ এক মিনিট একটুখানি আমাদের ইনস্ট্রাকচারটা শুনবেন ইউনিভার্স ইজ এক্সপ্যান্ডিং তো এবার আমার প্রশ্ন হচ্ছে যদি ইউনিভার্স সবসময় এক্সপ্যান্ড করে তাহলে এই ইন্টারস্টেলার ডিস্টেন্স বা ইন্টার প্ল্যানেটারি ডিস্টেন্স দিন দিন বেড়ে যাচ্ছে না কেন বা ইভেন সাইজ অফ আর্থ কেন বাড়ছে না এটা আমাদের আর্থের সাইজ বাড়বে না বাট হোয়াট ইজ হ্যাপেনিং ইজ দ্যাট রেট অ্যাট হুইচ যেটা হাবল কনস্ট্যান্ট বললাম যে এটা কিন্তু একটা তারার থেকে অন্য তারার ডিস্টেন্স চেঞ্জ হচ্ছে বাট দ্যাট টার্ন লস মুভিং রাইট অ্যাট সার্টেন রেট So, rate of change between two stars remains constant and that constant is called Hubble's constant. And we actually found out very precisely when we started about the Hubble of Hubble, when we started doing these experiments, we had some error on that number. But now we are getting closer and closer and closer to the right amount, but rate is increasing. Kintu, কিন্তু একদিন কিন্তু এটা হবে যে তাই তো কেননা এটা তো একটা সময়ে ওটা কন্ট্রাক্টিং ইউনিভার্স শুরু হবে ইট উইল গো টু এ সার্টেন রেঞ্জ অ্যান্ড দেন ইট উইল সার্ট কন্ট্রাক্টিং বাট ইট ইস এ লং টাইম টু গেট দ্যাট তা একজন এখান থেকে একজন কাকুরে করে আপনি বলুন Do parallel universes exist? Do parallel universes exist? I have no idea. 
ওইখানে আমাদের স্কুল থেকে একজন প্রশ্ন করছেন ওইখানে কোন মাইকটা দিন থেকে আপনি করে নেন ওইদিকে একটা প্রশ্ন নিয়ে ওর শেষ করতে হবে বলুন স্যার আমার প্রশ্ন হলো যে একাদশ অধ্যায় সেই বিশ্বরূপ দর্শনে তাহাদশ আদিত্য বলেছিলেন আমি আপনি তো ধীরে ধীরে বলুন আমি মাইক্রোফোন একটু মানে তাহাদশ আদিত্যর কথা বলা হয়েছে গীতাতে তো 12টা সূর্য তার মধ্যে তো আমরা একটা সূর্য দেখছি কিন্তু আর কি সূর্যের সন্ধান তো পেয়েছেন আমরা এখন পর্যন্ত বলি मैंने क्वेश्चन हो चुका है कुछ ठीक प्रश्नों प्रश्नों से वो जो भी वन फोर पावर जाए आमी अपन वहाँ पे आपके क्यों अपन और टाइम ट्रेवल नहीं है करने प्रश्न पड़े उधर तो पावर वाला कर तब वन फोर ने जब अपन खोज पावर जाए वन फोर स्टील एक थियोरी कर पाते हैं थियोरी हो भी जाए वन फोर शुरूएंगे बट � Experimentally, then time travel will be possible. Until then, time travel is not possible because it actually shortcuts some of this stuff. But it is a very complicated physics behind it. So, our doctor, I am also like. So, the abdomen will experimentally work for the whole of the entire body. Okay, we can at school level level just ask Doctor Mike to do something. खुबी तथदर्शक <laughs> जे आमी क्या नो पूरे पूरे आशी आमी बहुतो काल दिए चिला आमी चार दिन एक दिन लो बाड़ी है इसकी तार मोते हमारे तीन खाना प्रोग्राम आज दे खाने बहुतो काल आमी हमारे कुन्नो बोले हिंदू गाव साइस कुले दिए चिला कुप पुरोनो स्कूल वो खान का छाती इधर एक औथाई बोला जो जे आमादे की एक कामादे कास्ट वाले ना दिमाग का बत्ती कला दिया क्या कहें बटाई में जो है सर शेड ऐसे काज करा कि हम हाँ इनो एक्साइड है आजकल का शोभाई बोले आजकल का बच्चा देना कि थोड़ी जो नहीं उड़ा कि चुप पढ़ा सुना कुत्ते चाइना उड़ा सुमार्ट ना इतना किंतु कुत्ते जेनरेशन ही बोले आज आमदे माँबाबा वालों बोले चल तो दे कि� আমাদের ভবিষ্যতে কিন্তু অন্ধকার হয়ই নি রাইট স্যার স্পেসিফিক স্টেপ ওয়াইজ পাথ গুলো বলছ আছে হ্যাঁ পাথ হচ্ছে ওই যে আপনি তো বসুন এবার পয়েন্টটা ছেড়ে বসুন না পাথ হচ্ছে ওই যে আমাদের সবারই কর্তব্য হবে ওদেরকে একটু এক্সাইট করা ওদের ফ্যাশন জানানো দেন দে উইল বি ফাইন্ড देयर ওন পাথ আর এক বলে আছে যত মোর তত পর পথ কিন্তু অনেক রকম शुद्धम कथाए पोछते हैं तरह धारणा थे पथे जावा जा 
more difficult. You have to, if we excite them, find their passion, they will find their own path. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Now, tell me, tell me, tell me. Good afternoon, sir. I thank you for the amazing information. In 2025, there will be a solar radiation coming from the sun, and that there will not be any electricity or internet in the earth for a few months. Is it true? Okay, this is what I'm going to say. What is the internet? 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 ये आगामी काल जो भी तो कल तुम्हें ऑलरेडी एक्सपेरिमेंटली जेनरल देते हैं, वेदर डेट इन हैपनी कर रहा है, राइट? सो यस, डेट इस सोलर जेनरेटर, समटाइम्स डेट इस सोलर फ्लेयर, डेट कैन इंटरव्यू आवर कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम, डेट कैन इंटरव्यू आवर सैटेलाइट सिस्टम, बट वी हैव लॉट ऑफ मल्टीग्रेशन Sun will still be there, solar panel will still work. So it is not going to happen. The shock issue I got it on the way for it is not that. Some disruption might happen if there is a real solar flare. Right. So thank you very much. Amade Kachi Shumai Shesh, Aramra Amade Shumai Devi Kachi, Adade Shakalke on his Bunova, Ajke Amade Mote Asha Juno, the Gautam Chakrabata, Aram Dove Bushwe. एक खुनी उन्हें ब्रोक करे बेरा बेरा ना हमारे लास्ट एक दो टू इंस्ट्रक्शन लिखे तो तुम उसे आज के हमारे मोते आश्वासन जो नो तो तो चौथों बात है कि अनेक अनेक दोनों बात एवं एक तय औसत दर्जन पोस्ट का पुना हम रा पहला एवं हम रा आशा करूँ को आवारों दफ़न में भारत को शेयर्स पे उन्हा� रजिस्टर्ड एवं आमादे छात्रों ना जरा बोलते थे इसके लिए सोचो आ विशेष करे आमादे आज के ही सामूहिक भावे अनुष्ठान की एडेंस करने जोनों जिन्हें एक तरह का अशादरण भूमिका पालन करते चंन आमादे करियर एवं प्लेसमेंट से लेकर ऑर्डिनेटर इंद्रेश शानंद जी शाहो जॉइन तो बाबू प्रत्येक तुम्हारा आमादे म आमादे एक बड़े खलिया दूसरी इंस्ट्रक्शन आजे आमादे कुछ में